Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasting Australia's intellect devourer demons of the skull on Caligari Records. Originally formed in Australia back in 1991. There's a very confusing lineup, but at the same time, you have members of Cauldron Black Ram, Mournful Congregation, and fucking Stargazer. Yeah, you're getting some top-notch technical death metal. Nothing boring. This is fucking top-notch, high-speed, just frantic and fucking awesome. This is the way technical death metal's meant to sound, feel, it's just a fucking banger. And I really don't want to go into the band's history because it's legit very, very confusing. The, you know, notes and whatnot change from the CD version to the cassette version. Certain people are given, you know, like props for playing when on another release their name's nowhere to be seen. It's just, uh, it's kind of strange to where I don't really even want to go into it. I was just told by someone not to mention a certain person's name, so I'm not. But if you know those bands, then you know what name I'm talking about, but I guess his name's not credited here, but I take it that it's in the CD version, which could lead to confusion. I guess it, that it already sounds very confusing, but all you really need to know is this is a fucking sick one. A lot of tracks from 1993 and 1999, but I heard this entire release was written in 1991, but I'm not really sure, like, it's kind of a compilation. Like the first track, Damien Rose from the Tomb of Jesus, is from 1991. Plain Negative, 1992. The title track, Demon of the Skull, 2014. Neo Carnivore 1992 Sorrow Incarnate 1993 Prayer to Thessaly 1993 Silent Mansion Where Innards Thrive 1993 The Ship of No Return 1999 and Waves of Blood 1993 So we have a compilation and supposedly everything was originally written either, and this is going off the top of my head, so if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure everything besides the one track was written in 1993. From 91 to 93, all these songs were written. From what I was told. And I, again, it was very confusing. Like, I kind of held off on reviewing this until I saw that Caligari still had copies of the CD and the cassette because this is really an essential underground technical death metal release. Like, if you're a fan of fucking Time Ghoul, especially. Yo, get this. Same with Stargazer. Like, I am a big Stargazer fan, and it has those vibes, and they're fucking heavy, and Stargazer's one of those bands, like, I, I really, like, so many bands are influenced by Stargazer, but I still feel like they don't get the respect they really fucking deserve. Like, there's you know, a small group of people, and most of them are in other bands, 
you'll always see someone from Blood Incantation wearing like a Stargazer t-shirt. It's just, you know, it's an obvious influence to that sound and to that atmosphere and just to... See, I'm not allowed to say this person's name, so I'm not, but he played on Interdimensional Extinction. But he's not credited here, but I was told he played on this, which is confusing. Yes, I'm talking of Damon Good, but he is not credited on here. But I was told he's credited on the original CD version. It, again, like I said, it's fucking confusing. And I didn't want to even write that stuff down because I was like, well, that, that seems kind of personal. Like, maybe something happened. And I, but it was one of the reasons I've been putting this off because I, I didn't really know what to say about it and I just wanted to kind of stick to how fucking sick the music is. And I'm trying my best here, but there's just so much I want to really get to the bottom of when it comes to just intellect of ours past and what's real and what's not like true when it comes to information about the band and who played on these songs and whatnot but at the end of the day fuck that shit all that really matters are the fucking tunes and this is nine tracks of just killer riffing, awesome drumming, a great vocal delivery, and the way technical death metal should be. Not boring, interesting, and just like shit you hear and you're like, yo, fuck yeah, that was awesome. And that's what Intellect Devourer do best. For example... Wow. Like, just wow. I wasn't fucking around when I was saying this is bad ass. Intellect devourer, demons of the skull, like, wow. When it comes to a technical death metal compilation, like, throughout the years of Intellect Devourer's existence, it's fucking awesome. Like, hails to Caligari Records for putting this out. It's just one of those releases that instantly I was like, fuck yeah. Like, how did I not know this band, you know, existed? Especially being formed in 1991. Like, I feel like I was sleeping on it, and I was. But Caligari threw a copy of my way for the channel, and holy shit, it is so fucking good. And the thank you list, like, you got King Valley of Deceased getting thanked. A, a lot of individuals, ex-band members, just fucking cool shit. And I love how blasphemous and evil some of these lyrics are. Sweet was the flesh of Jesus Christ. Orgasmic neurosis in the grave of time. That's fucking so... Oh my god! You, you need to get into this if you're a fan of death metal, especially technical death metal, because this has 
all the bases covered and is ready to go for in for the fucking home run. It, it's, dude. Very atheist. Fucking hell yeah. Sick. Sick. So there's a lot of influences on here and it's fucking cool, but also, you know, Intellect Devourer were influencers themselves. There's, you know, look at the Australian death metal scene. There's so many bands that are, like, pushing the boundaries of, you know, extremity with, like, technical death metal and just death metal in general. And it seems like it's always been like that, you know, going back to disembowelment and shit. Like, to me... That was my introduction to the Australian metal underground, was the first time I, you know, listened to Disembowelment, I was just like, oh my god, like, fuck. I always forget that, like, Australia is beautiful beaches and then a death zone in the middle. Like, where, obviously, isolation, solitude, all of that, you know, it's there. It's not, like, you know, an icy, grim place, but it's grim in a completely different way. Like, and isolated. Dude, imagine being stuck in the middle of the outback. Like, living in a fucking cabin and being self-sustained. I mean, it'd be gnarly, but, like, just some little spider can fucking kill you in your sleep. Australia is gnarly, and that goes with their music as well. Intellect Devour, Demons of the Skull. Wow. Again, that atheist style. So good. Like, I'm sorry, I'm like fucking cheesing too, like, I really love this stuff, and like I've said numerous times, I'm extremely picky when it comes to my technical death metal, and it's because of bands that are gnarly, like Intellect Devourer, that don't go over the top, they keep it kind of human. They're not like one of those bands where the drumming sounds like a typewriter and everything's picture perfect guitar wise and sometimes it works. Like for example, Hate Eternal. Go and listen to I Monarch. Compare it to King of All Kings and you'll be like, holy, what the, f whoa. One sounds very, very polished, and one's kind of muddy, but, like, it's still fucking awesome. And then if you keep going up, you know, with Hate Eternal's material, you'll keep hearing that Eric is getting better and better at recording records at Mana Studios, and it goes to show with their music. But the one thing that always kind of bothered me was it was too perfect. This still has a little bit of rawness to it. And that's what makes it really stand out, in my opinion. Because it's not forced. It's just very organic. The riffs are organic. The fucking vocals are or The whole release is very organic. And... You have Troy Mooney on vocals, Darren McLennan on guitar, Ben Newsom on guitar, Matthew Spencer on bass, and Denny Blake on drums. All lyrics were written by Denny Blake. And this is just a great fucking release right here. Logo and cover art by Matt Putrid Carr. 
And Matt just does a fucking great job whenever he puts his pen to paper. It's just magic. And that was the A side of this fucking monster. I love this little monster here. Look at him. He's kind of hard to see. But Matt's the fucking man when it comes to art. And hails to Caligari Records for reintroducing the death metal world to Intellect Devourer with Demons of the Skull. A killer slab of technicality that is completely digestible and fucking awesome. Like, not only, like, is the musicianship dialed, but, like, it's not boring at all. Like, a lot of technical death metal to me, it's a lot of guitar masturbation, and it gets fucking boring. I'm sorry, it just does. But then there's, you know, bands that manage to play technical death metal very interestingly. Artificial Brain, Demi-Lich, Time Ghoul, Blood Incantation, obviously. Like, the list goes on and on. And, you know, obviously, I can't not have a list like that without Death, Atheist, Cynic, Gorguts. The list goes on and on. But at the end of the day, it's releases like this. That get me fucking stoked on, like, the technical, technical side of death metal. Obviously, Blood Incantation, but they're, you know, out there doing their own thing. And Intellect Devourer, this is one of those bands that I really wish I would have known about a little bit earlier. But I'm fucking happy that Caligari put their pedal to the metal fucking release this bad boy into the world and I think it's awesome. Demons of the Skull by Australia's Intellect Devourer. Again, there's some questions that I do have about when some of these songs were originally written. Because I was told two separate things, but from Caligari, they just kind of were like, I don't know. It, it was just kind of confusing to where I just put this off a little bit reviewing it, but it needs some attention, I feel, because I saw that there were still copies available. I was like, fuck this. I, I figured this would have been sold out, and I do want to get to certain releases before they do sell out so you folks at home can get a copy of this if, if you're interested and you definitely should be interested in Intellect Devourer. Caligari Records has CDs and cassettes so if you're not a cassette guy or girl you can grab the CD version. If you're not a CD or cassette person I don't know if there's a vinyl release, but it fucking deserves one. <laughs> Seriously, this is awesome. Australian technical death metal featuring members from Mournful Congregation, Stargazer, Cauldron Black Ram. It's fucking rad on Caligari Records. Check it out. And thank you to Caligari Records for making this video possible. And thank you, Maniacs at Home, for watching, donating cassettes to the channel. It's fucking gnarly. I'm so stoked. And Corpse Gristle Records has the first... Oh my god. They have so much gnarly stuff, but they have the first Disgorge Mexico album on cassette i'm like so stoked and somebody yesterday grabbed me molesting the decapitated by devourment on cassette fuck yeah <laughs> like i'm so stoked thank you aaron and thank you nick for fucking stepping up yesterday and really helping the channel out with some new releases and there's some fire there's some fire coming to the channel just Get stoked and check out Intellect of Our Demons of the Skull. You will not be disappointed.
Have a good day, and as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hey.